Welcome to another Forrester video where we're doing more lip stuff. Because I took the splitter off, put it on the Audi when I did the Lambo skirts on the Audi. I'll show you the aftermath of that. It didn't last very long. It, uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't make it too far. Um, I had eight bolts in there. Don't know how that wasn't enough, but I guess it wasn't. Maybe it was just still too heavy and needed to be testing out to be held. But the reason I took it off force was because I didn't like it because it sat so high off the ground, even all the way aired out. So we have an actual front lip for the bumper that's gonna sit even lower than the splitter that I had on before did. So this probably won't even last that long, if we're being honest. First, let's grab the bumper. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, wow, I just did that with one hand over the whole car. And then also on today's agenda, after mounting the lip, we obviously have to paint the lip to match the bumper. And then we're also gonna be painting the side skirts to match all the plastics, cause it'll look weird if we just have one gloss black piece. So we're gonna make sure it all matches. Yes, they did come in pieces. Oh, it also came with hardware. I didn't think it would come with hardware. This lip is actually for a Hawkeye. Um, because the Hawkeye splitter fit on this bumper almost perfectly, I figured a Hawkeye lip is probably gonna be the exact same. So let's flip the bumper upside down and let's find out. This is the middle piece. Obviously, if this fits correctly, they'll bolt together. Which is kind of, okay. Like so, like that. Hold on. Yeah. Is it too wide? I don't know. I don't know. Cutting to, uh, mm, cutting to time lapse of me making this fit. I got it to flutter out a little bit on the side to help match the wheelbase. Had to trim off like I did on the other splitter. Um, putting on the sides and trying to get the middle to fit didn't work, so we put the splitter together as you saw, then laid it on the bumper, got it to fit, and just, it just, it was the right width, but they just extended too far. So then I just got them where I wanted them, drilled into the bumper, trimmed it, put it on, good to go. And then this is the best part about being, about my having just the plastics. You just wipe them off. Make sure they're nice and clean. Grab your black primer. And just like that, the side skirts match everything else on the car. Not sure if I wanna do the splitter or not because the it actually matches pretty well as is. I don't know, I'll decide later. All right, next on the list uh, before Scrape Fest tomorrow is gonna be an alignment. Pretty sure when I hit that cattle grate in Idaho that I screwed my alignment up. The car pulls really hard to the right now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna probably just eyeball this alignment. We're gonna make sure the steering wheel's straight. Grab a tape measure, eyeball this, and take the bumper off. That way we can get access in there when we, you know, raise the car up and jack up a side to get pressure off to adjust it. And yeah, get to it. Once 
wasn't as pulling as hard right as it was before, but my steering wheel also wasn't straight. It was like this. So we're gonna have to fix that too. Well, my my fan button broke on that drive. So good thing I have extras. Like this thing, like, it's totally broken. So we're gonna throw a new switch in there and then I just redid the alignment again and go test it out again. All right, let's test it out. Works again. I think we have success. I this is like the fifth or sixth try, I think. Let's get around this bend real quick. It goes straight up here. And we'll see. It used to pull so freaking hard to the right, like it was scary, and now we're driving straight. Maybe a little to the right, but not nearly as bad as it was before. And the wheel's straight now, so that's a plus. Let's give you guys a little pull. <laughs> you know, I realize I've been doing this all wrong. In my head, I was thinking, what do you do on an alignment machine? Because I've done this like six times. Now it's pulling to the left when you accelerate, but pulling to the right when you decel. So trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And then I realized when you put a car in an alignment machine, both front wheels are free. You turn them all the way to one side and then all the way to full lock to the other side and then you straighten them and then you measure from there. Now I have like this, I have the string and what we're gonna do, what you can do if you're doing alignment by yourself, you tie it to a point on the back of the car and then you pull the string and you lay it tight to the wheel and you want it to touch the back of the lip of the wheel and the front of the lip of the wheel at the same time. And that's how you get your line. Make sure you do that both on both sides. That's what you do. So we're gonna try that real quick. straight now like actually drive straight now but the wheel isn't straight which i don't know why because like you saw we put it in the air and i put the wheel straight before i adjusted anything maybe adjusting stuff made the wheel move a little bit it is what it is um luckily you know this is a an aftermarket steering wheel that has an aftermarket hub so we can just take the steering wheel off and then just boop you just put it straight and call it and then you don't have to adjust the toe arms or the alignment anymore. Steering wheel is straightened. Now it's time to put the rest of the front end on, which is the bumper and grill. And then we're pretty much ready for scrape fest. That is literally my ride height. You're kidding me. That's not good. That is literally, oh gosh. <laughs> well, that's where we're gonna end this one. Car's looking good, ready for scrape fest. Appreciate you guys watching, peace.